Here is a detailed view of the pan tilt camera mount that I have made in the last couple months here. All the parts are either CNC milled, CNC plasma cut, or 3D printed. So I'm going to show you the uh, X axis here. Those are two 3D printed gears. And then that is a um, 20 RPM motor from Servo City. And it has, I don't know, almost, I think, a thousand ounce inches of torque so it's plenty strong enough to um, make the camera go up and down and then as you can see on the bottom there I put this slot here so you could uh, if for heavier cameras you can try to equalize or uh, get the center of gravity closer to the axis so it doesn't have to push as much but this motor I've had I haven't found any cameras that it can't handle in fact, it can lift itself up if you just hold it, but I can't do that with one hand. Down here, um, then I have a different motor. This is a 10 RPM, since usually you want a slower uh, pan going across. So that's a 10 RPM motor from Servo City. Not as much torque because there's not much pushing against it. But uh, yeah, that's the um, X there. So. Um, one of the things you're making a pan tilt is important to keep it smooth. So I have two bearings. I have bearings on all of the joints there to make sure that everything's always smooth. I don't know how much they actually helped, but um, it doesn't hurt, that's for sure. The controller here, it's all Arduino uh, controlled. So I have the Arduino on the bottom there. On top is the um, Arduino Micro or Arduino Motor Shield with, uh, that can control two motors. Um, and those basically, since I didn't have one set cable length, I used a uh, Cat5 for a connection. So two wires or four wires for each motor. And then uh, that works nicely because now I can have any length. So if I want a shorter cable here, I can use that. Or if I want a, I can do up to 120 feet, I think I calculated. Um, the joystick basically controls direction. And then the knob, I also 3D printed that. That controls the speed. So um, that's what that is for. Um, like I said, everything was CNC milled. So that was pretty handy when I was uh, making the controller, trying to get all the p components to fit in the right way. Anyway, so you can see the other view of, or the other video that has some demo videos at the end there. So uh, take a look at that. Thanks.